Welcome to the Leading Edge Podcast with Eric Thompson. Inspire, perform, profit. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode number 14. I'm your host, Eric Thompson. This is the Leading Edge Podcast. You are here. I'm grateful for that. Episode 14 is about problems, all right? Who's got some problems? People tend to have problems. We need to solve the problem of problems, all righty? So um, this, I think, is really going to help you out. One, one thing you're going to get from this podcast is a takeaway from one of my most significant mentors and trainers, coaches I've had in my life. His name is Dr. Jerry Bell. We're going to get to that here in a few minutes. You're going to hear a big takeaway I have from him. You're going to get takeaways about problems. So I did a little research to prepare for this here podcast, did some research online, and I came across a handful of really cool quotes when it comes to problems. Uh, by the way, there's a heck of a lot of quotes out there about problems. Seems that people have lots to say when it comes to problems. Uh, so there's like endless quotes, but here's just a few here, are, uh, actually six that I found that I thought were pretty awesome. This one, first of all, comes from Albert Einstein. He says, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Boy, isn't that the truth? How about this next one from Robert Schuler? He's a minister. He says, problems are not stop signs. They are guidelines. Isn't that interesting? That's uh, kind of a cool way to think about problems. William Halsey, he says that all problems become smaller when you confront them instead of dodging them. Boy, ain't that the truth? Problems become bigger and bigger and bigger. They tend to grow. The more that we ignore them, the more that we uh, avoid them, they tend to get bigger. Uh, so true. Fourth one here is from James Baldwin. He says, not everything that is faced can be changed but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Uh, I like that one. That's a very uh, clever little quote. Uh, this one is from Steve Maraboli. Uh, this is a cool one. Sometimes problems don't require solution to solve them. Instead, they require maturity to outgrow them. Ooh, boy, couldn't we all be a little more mature, especially when it comes to our problems? Last one I'll share with you is from Tony Robbins. I uh, love Tony, Rob Tony Robbins. What he says, Every problem is a gift. Without them, we wouldn't grow. Every problem is a gift. Without them, we wouldn't grow. I would imagine as you think back on your life, I would imagine that a, some big growing points for you have been when you've faced problems, taken them on, um, you've had problems, taken them on, you've grown from the experience. That is most certainly the case for me. Already, So I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine going to talk with a friend and sitting down with a friend, maybe it's over a cup of coffee, like imagine you're at a Starbucks. And I want you to imagine saying to that person, hey, I want you to tell me, tell me all the problems that you have right now. <laughs> all right. And they're probably going to have a, a smile on, your, on their face. But if you have a great relationship with them, if they're willing to be open and honest, I'll bet you anything that they would have an answer. All right. So let's, let's flip it around. Let's pretend that a good friend of yours came to you at, over coffee and it's someone you really like and really trust, like you can be an open book with them. If they were to say to you, all right, man, tell me all the problems that you have right now. Would you have an answer? I bet that you would. So what are all the kinds of problems that we would hear about if someone was being honest with us about downloading all the problems that they have? Uh, number one, we're certainly hear an answer, right? I, I would imagine that they will have an answer to that question. They're gonna have all kind of, kinds of problems to tell you. What kind of categories would they fall in? Um, just brainstormed. Well, I'll bet you they'll tell you about the money problems they have. Oh man, I got some money problems. They probably have health problems to tell you about. It could be, yeah, you know, I'm not sleeping or I've been gaining weight or I can't lose weight. Uh, could be diet related. Yeah, I got a problem. I just can't, can't control my diet. I keep eating sweets or not eating healthy, keep eating fast food. What are other kinds of problems might they tell you? They're going to tell you about relationship problems that they have. They may say, man, I got this problem with my girlfriend or I got this problem with my husband or whatever. They may tell you about kid problems that they have. Oh, my kid, my kid's a problem. Here's why my kid is a problem or here's a challenge or a problem I'm facing with my kids. How about coworkers? <laughs> I know that people oftentimes got problems with their coworker. Like, oh man, I got this coworker. 
I'm having to deal with. Um, he is a problem. How about client problems? Do we have client problems uh, pretty often? Yeah, we do. We have client problems because they're going through an emotional time in their life. So we may hear a whole lot about client problems. How about family problems? They may say, oh boy, let me tell you about this uncle I have or my sister-in-law, you know, the, the family problems. All of us have some kind of a family drama, family problem to share. How about neighbors? Um, lucky for me, that's not a problem at all. I have terrific neighbors, but oftentimes people have problems with their neighbors. You know, I got a loud neighbor or a messy neighbor or a neighbor I don't get along with, neighbor doesn't cut their yard, they leave their trash car in the driveway, you know, whatever it is. How about technical problems? You know, te technology is such a huge part of our life right now. And so I bet you people are willing to tell you about all the technical problems they're having. They're like, man, my my computer's acting up or my phone's not working right or my wireless isn't working or I don't have reception or whatever, right? Um, so there, we're not short on problems, all right? Uh, that's that's the point of that part. None of us are short on problems and they tend to be, comes in all shapes and sizes, all kinds of different categories. We are not short on problems. So now let's get to this. Um, there are two things when it comes to problems, right? Two things that have helped me, two things I, I believe can help you. The first one is what I learned from this wonderful person named Dr. Jerry Bell. Jerry Bell runs the Bell Leadership Institute at Chapel Hill, Hill, North Carolina. It's actually on the campus of the University of North Carolina. I've been fortunate enough to go back there a couple times for seminars that he has hosted. You're most likely gonna hear more about Dr. Jerry Bell if you keep engaging with these podcasts because the dude is smart. He's got a lot of great things to share. I learned a ton from him. One of the things I learned from him is that most people, uh, and like just about everyone, has, num has very unrealistic expectations when it comes to problems, all right? We have this expectation, first of all, that we are not gonna have problems, all right? So we are all surprised like when problems show up in our life, all right? So we, we should not be surprised because it's like, you know, welcome to life, all right? Life is gonna have problems. That's just the way things go. Um, it could be health problems, relationship problems, kid problems, coworker problems, family problems, neighbor problems, technical problems. We're, we're gonna have those problems. What Dr. Bell says is that we all have 100 problems a day. It's what he calls his 100 problems a day theory. The theory is simple. The theory says every human being, and that, when we say human being, let's let's say at least adolescent and above, every human being is going to have a hundred problems a day. All right, so make it up. I don't know. Let's maybe you're 14 above or 16 above. I know my little kids. They don't. They probably don't have a hundred problems a day. Their problems are small compared to adult problems. But adolescent and, and above, you're going to have a hundred problems a day. So let's just get our expectation right that problems are going to roll in every day to the tune of about 100 a day. If we believe Dr. Jerry Bell, we're all gonna have 100 problems a day. They're gonna come in these all shapes and sizes. They are gonna happen. So let's stop being surprised when we have problems. Let's stop being shocked. Let's stop saying to ourselves, oh man, another problem. Can you even believe it? Well, yeah, let's believe it because it's like welcome to life. Dr. Bell says there are a few mythologies when it comes to problems, all right? There are a few myths that we must debunk when it comes to problems. One is, what Dr. Bell says, one is, is that uh, people say to themselves, you know what, when I have money, I won't have more problems. Well, I can tell you during my career, I, you know, as time has gone on, I've made more and more money. I've made lots and lots and lots more money as time has gone on in my career, but I still have 100 problems a day. <laughs> that hasn't, that hasn't fixed fixed any problems, um, the problems just become different, right? So having more money will not cause you to stop having problems. Another myth, Dr. Bell says, is that, you know, when I retire, I won't have problems. So gosh, when I can stop working, that's when all my problems will stop. I can't wait to stop working and can't wait to get myself in a position where I can retire and stop working because then I won't have any more problems. Well, that ain't true. Uh, I know some people who are retired, you know, in, in my family, and I, you know, I see problems show up in their life. Um, nothing, not because they're doing anything wrong. It just happens, right? Problems are still going to show up whether you're retired or not. So just uh, overall, what Dr. Bell says is that people have a mythology that when a certain condition 
changes that, that, that they will stop having problems. That ain't true. We're all going to have 100 problems a day. The hundreds are going to keep rolling in. So what he says is that, you know what, life consists of the choices we make, not the conditions we're given. Life consists of the choices we make, not the conditions we're given. So our experience of life, our fulfillment and joy, and uh, how we take life in, that when what we get out of life, it has so little to do with, with conditions that we're given because we all have certain conditions that we're given. We all have 100 problems that, that come in. It, what it really consists of are the choices that we make it really comes to how we handle those problems, right? So just assume we're going to have 100 problems a day. And another big, big, another huge takeaway I got from Dr. Bell related to the 100 problems is that your worth is based on the size of the problem that you can solve. Your worth is based on the size of problem that you can solve. So this, um, we're kind of um, starting to allude to the second thing here I'll talk about in a minute, but problems actually become big, have become beneficial things. Problems are good things because problems are an opportunity to demonstrate your worth. So the bigger the problem you can solve, the more worthy you are. And the bigger the problem, uh, big problems tend to be person-based problems. The big problems tend to be people problems, not technical problems. So you can think about this in terms of like a pyramid, All right? So think of a pyramid at the bottom of that pyramid are, in quotes, easy problems to solve. At the top of the pyramid are, in quotes, hard problems to solve. At the bottom of the pyramid, the, quote, easy things to solve are going to be technical related things. So your wireless acting up is an easy problem relative to something that may live at the top of the pyramid, a person-based problem. Let's say there's a major problem with an in-law, All right, You don't get along with an in-law. That is a much bigger problem than my wireless doesn't work. Uh, and so um, client problems are people problems. Coworker problems are people problems. Um, getting a culture right, an environment right, um, managing client expectations, um, encouraging a client uh, to make a decision, helping a client through a really challenging transaction, uh, dealing with a challenging cooperating realtor uh, on the other side. Those are big problems to solve. Those are challenging problems to take on, way more challenging than someone who can fix a wireless connection. So you want to welcome problems like that because it allows you to demonstrate your worth. If you were unable to solve those problems, you would not be earning the income that you are making, all right? So if you don't want people problems, then you need to just move down the pyramid and go take on more technical problems, right? So people at the lower end of a pay scale are solving relatively small problems compared to people at the high end of a pay scale are taking on much bigger, much more complex problems, again, that tend to be people problems. So isn't it strange to think that people problems can actually be a good thing because it allows you to demonstrate your worth. If you weren't able to take on those problems, you'd be taking on problems lower on this pyramid, lower on the scale, you wouldn't be able to demonstrate your worth. You wouldn't be at the pay level that you are if you weren't able to deal with those people problems. You can also flip that around to say, if I want to be more worthy, if I want to make more money, if I want to be more valuable, then what I need to do is get better at the people problems. Um, I really want to move up the pyramid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all in and getting really good at dealing with people problems. Like I'm, I'm going to get really good at dealing with conflict and, and hard situations and uncomfortable situations and dealing with uh, a coworker or an employee uh, that's not behaving in the way that they should or dealing with that uh, kind of nasty personality of the cooperating realtor on the other side. I'm going to get really good at dealing with that so that I become even more valuable, so that I become more worthy, so that I make more money, right? So again, think about this as a pyramid. So thing number one, when it comes to problems, again, is what we learned from Dr. Jerry Bell. We all have 100 problems a day. Just know that, realize that. We're not going to be surprised by problems coming in. Uh, we're going to get over the myths that occur when it comes to problems. For instance, um, my problems will stop when I retire. My problems will stop when I'm making more money. We're going to let go of those myths. We are going to welcome uh, bigger problems because it allows us to be more worthy. 
That's all thing number one. Thing number two, and we've kind of alluded to it, thing number two when it comes to problems is that we're gonna change the way that we look at a problem, all right? We're gonna change the way that we look at problems in general. We're gonna see problems as a gift. And I know that may sound really weird when you first hear that, when you first think about that, that may sound strange and odd. Problems, however, they are absolutely a gift. Problems are a gift, number one, because it allows us to demonstrate our worth and our value. Problems are a gift, reason number two, is because it allows us to grow. So when a problem arises into your life, I want you to think of it, about it just like exercise, all right? So you may say, you know what? This is a chance to exercise that muscle that I really need to exercise, all right? So this is a chance to exercise the muscle of taking on a hard situation or, or a difficult personality. This is a chance to exercise the muscle of dealing with conflict and taking something head on. Um, this is a chance to exercise the muscle of just being more locked down, being more in control of my schedule. This is a chance to exercise the muscle of setting really healthy boundaries. Thank you so much, world. Thank you so much, universe. Thank you so much, God, for bringing this into my life so that now I can get better at this. Now I can exercise that muscle. Sometimes for me, challenging personalities show up in my life uh, for whatever reason. And just like anyone... Initially, I get frustrated, I get down, I get um, maybe even into a more victim mentality like, man, what is this person doing in my life? Why are they here in my life? Why do I have to deal with this person? I wish that I didn't. If I can get myself to, you know what, uh, there's a reason why this person has showed up in my life. There's a reason why they have arrived here in my life and it is my opportunity to now go flex this muscle. It's my chance to get this muscle more fit and more healthy. It's my chance to get this muscle bigger. This thing that maybe is a blind spot for me, this thing is maybe I'm not great at, it's a chance for me to get better at. That's why this person is in my life. If you can view it that way, it can allow you to take on that problem and not let that problem grow and fester, okay? So again, thing number one about problems, we all have 100 a day. Thing number two is we're gonna change the way that we look at the problem. Hey, I'm hoping that this was helpful for you. I'm hoping that this is gonna help you solve some problems. I'm hoping it's gonna help you learn how to grow because of problems and to even welcome problems. And um, can't wait to hear your feedback on 100 problems a day. And you may think about the fact that it may, might make you laugh to think that you, yes, indeed, you're gonna have 100 a day. Um, thank you again, as always, for engaging with this podcast means the world to me. There are problems, pun intended, there are problems I can help you with. If you're in the real estate business and you want help with your problems, like problems like how to attract more clients, how to be better with, with clients, um, how to deal with more challenging personalities, how to get control of your day and your schedule, all those kind of problems I know I can help you with. One way to help uh, or one way to get help is to join our membership program. So it's called The Leading Edge. Just go to jointheleadingedge.com, get signed up join on in. We're going to help you solve some of these problems. We'll solve some of those problems together. In the meantime, I appreciate you listening and I will catch you in the next podcast. Bye.